Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial of Get Plugins. In my last video, I showed you how to create image swatches from existing global attribute. But today I'm going to show you how to create image swatches from custom product attribute. If you still didn't check my last video, then please do check my video. The video link will be given in the description box. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. To turn your variable product attributes variations into image swatches from custom product attribute, you need to install both the free and premium version of the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. To download the free version of the plugin, navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for variation swatches for WooCommerce by Imran Ahmed and install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. Now the free version of your plugin is activated. Now you need to enable the premium version of the plugin variation searches for WooCommerce. To purchase the premium version of the plugin, go to the link getplugins.com. Click on plugins and click on variation searches for WooCommerce. Now purchase the plugin. Once you purchase the plugin, then download the zip file of the plugin. Now head to the product backend and navigate to add new from plugins. Click on upload plugin. Choose the downloaded zip file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. So now both the free and premium version of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin are installed and activated. Now it's time to create the custom product attribute. To create custom product attribute, navigate to add new from products. Give the desired name of your product and give a short description of the product. Select variable product from product data dropdown. Click on attributes. Select custom product attribute and add the attribute. Give a name of the attribute. I will give the attribute name brand. In this field you can add as many variations as you want. I will add Nike and Adidas variations for my brand attribute. Don't forget to separate the variations by this bar sign. Give a check mark on used for variations. Now save the attribute. Now click on variations. Add variation will add each variation one by one. But create variations from all attributes will add the variation by making a combination of all the available attributes. For now, I will go for create variations from all attributes. Now expand the variations. Price is the mandatory field for each variation. So make sure price is set in all the variations. Otherwise variations will not show up in the product frontend. Now add featured images by clicking on this image icon. First I will add my desired image for Nike variation. And then I will add image for Adidas variation. Now click on the save changes button. Now set a product image by clicking here. This image will appear when no variation is selected. Now click on publish button. Now go to the product front end. Currently the variations of brand attribute are in buttons. Now I will replace these buttons with image swatches. To do so go back to the product backend. Click on swatches settings. Select image type for brand attribute. Now click on the save swatches settings button and go to the product front end. You can see the change but still brand attributes variations are not showing any image. It's because we have only set the type for brand attribute but we didn't define any image for the variations. So now we will define images for the variations. Go back to the product backend and expand the brand attribute. Click on Nike variation. Click on upload or add image button 
and choose your desired image. Click on Save Such as Settings button. Now go to the product front end. So you can see Nike variation is showing the image swatch. But still Adidas variation is not showing any image. So now we will set image for Adidas variation. Again go to the product backend. Click on Adidas variation and click on upload or add image button. Choose your desired image. Finally click on the save swatches settings button. Again go to the product front end. So you can see Adidas variation is also showing the image swatch. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.